Okay. 23 year old Caucasian female. Dead on arrival from probable fall downstairs. Only witness his boyfriend who was found at the scene. Severe head trauma, cranial lacerations, internal bleeding. Likely cause of death. Suspects Li Hong. Distress call from Hong. She was on the ground. Victim was unresponsive. Deceased at approximately 0002 hours. Suspect wearing a shirt covered in what appeared to be the victim's blood. Questioned by responding officer Sergeant Maggi. Visible distress claiming victim had been drinking prior to the incident and had fallen. Suspect was confirmed intoxication. Detained for transport and uh, transported to for further questioning. Claim the incident occurred between 2340-2345. Also some narcotics in his system. Forensic evidence at the scene turned up inconclusive data to support suspect's claim. Blood spatter analysis concluded that while blood cast off the pattern uh, well, blood cast off patterns matched those of a fall, there was no evidence of a low to medium velocity impact spatter to match victim's wound and probable cause of death. Further investigations into the case are suspended until post-mortem evaluation and autopsy is concluded. Suspect is clear of prosecution. Pending further evidence. Look at all these new uh, emails that I've got added to my uh, media log. What's this E module thing here? Can I like get inside this? Oh, look how cosy. Rooftop pitfalls, claim another. Evelyn Carmichael, a young woman in her early 20s, became one of the latest victims claimed by the deadly Yazao rooftops that have authorities clamouring for stricter safety, regulations and zoning permits. Sources close to the victims say Evelyn had been out celebrating with her boyfriend before the incident occurred. A witness, whose identity was not released, claimed she slipped and fell while descending one of the many staircases that connect the Yuzhou and Kwagan rooftops with pandering street below. Police believe alcohol or drugs may have influenced the fatal accident, but officials claim the tragedy could have been avoided entirely if laws were different. With elections just around the corner, Evelyn's death will no doubt spark a host of new debates and controversy concerning citywide safety regulations. Rooftop related injuries and deaths have steadily risen in the last five years and make up over 60% of all recorded accidental fatalities each year. Oh yeah, because, you know, a whole host of people are all gonna accidentally fall off the roof. Yeah, seems like an easy get out clause to me. Oh look, another one in here. What's this one? How to win at Mahjong, the basics. It doesn't happen often, folks, but it appears that I may have to retract an earlier statement. Millionaire Hugh Darrell has contacted me personally to deny... Yeah, Mahjong. Has anybody played Mahjong? Is that the game where you've got like all the different tiles with all the different type of pictures on? Like, oh, anyway, this could be it right here. All different kind of pictures and... It's a very complicated game, but it looks complicated. Okay, dokie. I need to temporarily pause it. I'll Next be back time. in a second. We're yeah, back again. Right, we're off back outside. It seems. Need to go to the limb clinic. Forgive me, Mr. Darrow, but many people believe that your Arctic Ocean installation is more risky. When will we be able to see the truth? A lot of damn parts. Where's pod number 198? Was it 198? 128? This is Eliza Kassan reporting to you. This is Eliza Kassan saying goodbye and 
Get rid of him. Millionaire Hugh Darrow has contacted me personally to deny allegations of involvement. Ah, wait a minute. One, one six, one two zero, oh, two two. Come on, one two F four. Cyber Boost Energy Bar. Credit chips. Some more ebooks. Electro Grav Electro Grav Gravitic Technology Applications. That's like a bit of a mouthful of a word. Electro Gravitic. Say that five times while spinning on your head. Unintoxicated. I think you'll find it might be a little bit tricky. Okay, where's 128? I can see 102. And I can see something here as well. What's this? Revolver ammunition. Pocket secretary. What does that say? My dearest Wen. I'm having a nice time on my business trip. Australia is wonderful. Someday you will come with me and I can show you the sights of Melbourne. I miss you very much, and I wish I could be home with you and your mother in Hengshire. But I have a duty to fulfil, and I will stay out on the road for a little while longer. I hope you are behaving for your mother, and that you are helping her around the house. The hotel I am staying at is big and beautiful. The people are so glamorous. I feel so common among them. I do not yet know when I will be coming home, but when I do, I will bring you gifts for being such a good girl. Lots of love, your father. <sighs> Bringing tears to my eyes. <sighs> Sob stories. Don't you just love them? Okay, I'm looking for number 128 and I'm struggling here. I see 122. I see 120. And I'm also <laughs> seeing another pocket secretary. Traveler's update. Dear Mama, I hope this letter finds you well. Please give my love and regards to Father and Zui Li. I miss you all very much. Life in Hengshire is very exciting and the opportunities are too numerous to mention. However, it is a very difficult place if, like me, you have little money. Life is very expensive here and poor people are not treated the same way we treat the less fortunate back in our village. It seems like the city is so big. Yada yada yada. My heart's bleeding for you. It really is. Right, anything else? Any other little picks, pick-me-ups, any little goodies around here? Doing your nails, nice. Uh, just go down here. Nothing in there. One three two, one three zero, one three four, one three six, one two eight. Here we go. It's shut. Oh well, there goes my plan of looting and plundering. Never mind. What's this? Can of beer. Okay, that's fine. I think we've explored all we can explore. Let's get out of here. How do we get down? As the is if you would like to hear How did we get up? It's <laughs> also another question. There we go. This is Eliza Kassan saying, "Good night and God bless you." Wrong way. So we were literally a uh, step away. We were inches away from speaking with Van Bruggen. But then Farida had to step in with her own little quandary, didn't she? She had to step in with her own problem. Almost blubbering away. Oh, my friend was murdered oh, by her vicious and evil boyfriend. And me, being a sucker that I am, said, oh, Don't worry, I'll help you out, dear. Not a problem, no reward required, because I'm just Mr. Nice like Guy. The only place to work around here is TYM. I don't feel like being a part of it. God, I must, I must look stupid. Do I have mug shadowed across my forehead? Obviously I do. Can't believe I'm busying myself with such things. But hey! If it gives me the opportunity to put a bullet into somebody's brain that deserves it, I suppose it will be a bonus. Earth's ecosphere is in serious trouble, Eliza. 
And it's time that we as a species step up. Here we are. Good old limb clinic. Doing. Wasn't too far away after all. Just a minor detour. Nothing more. Okay. Where's the contact? Can't you see I'm busy? Go bother someone else. Death and life have their determined appointments. What? Oh, uh, and riches and honors depend upon heaven. Very good. Right, what now? Shh. They have eyes and ears everywhere. Meet me outside the clinic. Turn left from the front and go down the stairs. I'll be waiting at the corner. Are okay. Hello. Access software? Neuropodine? Something else? Look at computer. <laughs> Praxis? No. Okay. Bye now. Yes, goodbye, dear. Goodbye. The eagle has left the nest. Yeah, I can come up with stupid phrases as well. <laughs> So he says to turn it left and go down the stairs. It doesn't happen often, folks, but it appears that I may have to retract. There we are. Here he is, look. Over here. Mr. Anonymous Anna. X. Obviously he's a type of person that likes to think he's a ooh, I'm a cycler. I you know, I'm in possession of all these kind of secrets. But he's nothing more than a simple you stop drawing attention to yourself and get over here. Geeky looking stupid receptionist. I'm relieved to know they sent a professional, at least. That makes two of us. <laughs> right. Well, that's not exactly what I was expecting. I was told I would be meeting a girl. How do I know you're not an imposter or some sort of double agent? Don't think I don't know this could all just be an elaborate trap to set me up. Look, no offense, Mr. X, or whatever your name is, but I really don't have time for this. So if you could simply just give me what I came for, I'll be on my way. Yes, yes. I have it right here. Evelyn Carmichael's autopsy report. Here. Take it. Thank you. I trust you will put this information to good use? Because accountability and justice is at an all-time low, I'm afraid. It pains me to see this once great city, which stood as a bastion for reform and progress against our oppressive communist origins, succumb to the trappings of corporate bureaucracy and petty corruption. Corruption so often typical of your Western governments. Whatever you say. <laughs> mind, I really must be going. Well, there is still the matter of my payment. One thousand credits was the agreed upon price, I believe. Isn't that right? Uh, I don't think it is. A little piece of advice. When attempting to extort money from someone, don't give them what they want before trying to rip them off. What? What? You, you mean you aren't going to pay? But I risked everything to get you that file! Chalk it up to a learning experience and move on. You... You... You scoundrel! You'll regret this... Someday! You just... You just mock my words! See you later, X. <laughs> See you later, Xy! I was about to punch you in the face as well, just to... Just to cement home the learning points, but I won't bother. Yes, it was quite a funny. He's harping on about how this city's gone down to the dogs and giving his Nobel peace speech, <laughs> and uh, I just went, I just, I just said, oh yeah, whatever, just give me the damn thing. <laughs> uh, obviously, Jensen's not impressed. Oh dear. Okay, so uh, that's an active side quest. So I've managed to get Evans' autopsy report. So I need to read it. Uh, alrighty. Autopsy report below. Evan Carmichael, 23 years old. Time of death, 22.15. What did that guy say it was? About 23.45? Hmm, 
There's a discrepancy. Straight away. Craniocerebral injuries. Scalp contusion. Linear pattern of lacerations on right side of skull. Right side of cerebral hemisphere. Subarachnoid and subdermal hemorrhage. Small contusions. Tips of temporal lobes. Abrasion of left cheek. Abrasion contusion posterior left shoulder. Abrasions of right lower back and posterior right lower leg. No drugs and no alcohol. So his story about her being drunk and falling down the steps is, is nonsense. The time of death is all wrong. And also, she died of asphyxia. By seizure. Oh no, associated with craniocerebral trauma. So I think he clubbed her over the head with something. And then after she died, threw her down the stairs. <laughs>